Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be looking at my brother's final amateur fight before he started school full time. He's now in med school. You can see me there as his cornerman. This point in our career, I believe I was 23 and my brother was 21. So this was his, I believe, ninth or 10th fight. He is undefeated and his opponent, who is from Toronto, which is the opposite side of the country, was also undefeated. I believe he was five and zero. Oh. A lot of you are gonna be looking at my brother right now, white pants, going, what the heck is he wearing? And keep in mind that we started off with karate background, so we did fight in karate pants for quite a while. Just kind of had that respect for the sport. The blistering pace right off here. You can see my brother just firing hands. He's so fast. The crazy thing is he's still almost as good as I am at this point. Big front kick to the face. Another front kick to the face. I know everybody likes that when I throw them. He's better at those than me. He's a tall dude, about an inch taller than me. At this point, we were both very skinny compared to what we are now. He's probably about 137 pounds. Big left hook there. One of the things about my brother is he has a bit of a temper. He's a little different than me. If you tag him, he gets mad. But right there. He'll probably get a little bit fired up now. He's vicious in the ring. Big left hook again. If those would have found the jaw, I think his opponent would have been down. And like I said, his opponent was no joke. Five and oh already. That's a respectable record. Nice pace from both guys right away. Exciting fight to watch for sure. My brother chopping in that big low kick, but eats a shot because he doesn't set it up. His jaw comes a little bit high. You can see at this point, we don't have a lot of clinch game, so he's just pushing his hips in to negate the knees instead of engaging in a big clinch game. Chops the low kick again. Nice distance control. That one, the guy checked. Oh, and he comes right into the cross, eats that one. One of the things you have to remember is even when you're somebody who's a little bit more lean, you don't have the same muscle. Oh, that looks like it's the end of the round. So the guy makes it out, survives. We get into round number two. Ooh, my brother must have been upset or something because he's coming out guns a blazing. Yeah, even if you're not somebody who's super muscly, and we both weren't at this point, oh, massive front kick. You can still, oh, another front kick. You can still get good power. He's just using his length well. Those front kicks are deadly. Look at that power there in those shots. This guy is tough. Oh. Yeah, most people would be done by now. That's a, <laughs> a definitely warranted count. I'd be questioning whether we should let this guy go any further. Going back to that front kick. I really believe that if my brother had continued, he would have gone as far as I have, if not further. The only downside was his temper. Just getting a little upset sometimes. But sometimes that works for fighters too. It fires them up more. My brother got tagged a couple times in the first round and he was getting pretty mean in this fight. I love when he lets his hands start flying. He's so fast. This poor opponent looks done. Oh, big uppercut, big cross, nice dirty boxing on the inside there. Just negating those knees by keeping his hips forward. Oh, big front kick, body shot on the hunt. This guy's just taking a beating. And they told us when we brought guys out, because we were flying in people, we wanted the best. They said, this guy is dangerous. Oh, it just shows the skill level that my brother and I had back in our early 20s. 